Good morning, friends. Welcome or welcome back, if you've practiced with me before, to Yoga with Paige. Today's class is all about the core and the shoulders. So we will be stretching and strengthening both of those. It is a little yoga workout. So maybe we don't have time for a full gym set or we just want a little quicker, but still effective workout that we can do at home. No props necessary, all levels welcome. This is a great way to incorporate strength training throughout our yoga practice and making sure that we're getting strength as well as stretch in every single day. So whenever you're ready, we can get started. We start today in child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes together, walking the hands forward, letting the chest fall between the legs. Taking a few breaths here, a few moments to connect to ourselves before we start activating through the core and really building up strength, maybe building up a little heat. We take this moment to ease into the practice. Find gratitude for our bodies, for ourselves, for getting here today. One more deep breath. Before gently lifting up, coming into tabletop pose, all fours. And then walking the hands out in front, melting the chest down for puppy. <sighs> Letting the chest expand as it meets the mat. Feeling the beautiful opening in the shoulders. <sighs> On the next inhale, gently lifting the chest. Coming onto our right arm, we're peeling the left up for a small twist, and then scooping it underneath the right arm, coming into a little puppy pose, thread the needle variation. Finding what feels good here, maybe lying on the ear, pressing that right palm into the mat, opening up a little bit more in the shoulders. Exhale to gently release, placing left hand back on the mat. Coming to lie on the belly. Inhale to lift the chest for a baby cobra. Breathing nice and deep, spreading through the collarbones. Rolling the shoulders down. And exhale, gently press back into puppy. Taking the right arm above and threading the needle. Nice deep breaths, pressing away from the ground with that left hand, creating space. Beautiful deep exhale to release, coming down onto the forearms. Tucking the toes and lifting the hips, coming into dolphin pose, walking the toes a little bit closer. Keeping a nice flat back, reaching the heels down to the mat, holding here for our breath. Taking our gaze to the hands, we're gonna lift the right leg, sending it up high in the air, holding here. Releasing it down, lifting up the left, active through the core, squeezing through the glutes. And release, taking the right up, maybe this time we kick it. And the left. Two more each side. We can either kick them up, kind of preparing ourselves for any pinch up, back bend practice, or we can just simply bring them up and hold for a second. Your choice. There we are. And then gently releasing down to the knees, 
Coming up into tabletop, finding the middle of the mat, untucking the toes, inhaling to drop the belly for cow. Exhale, round through the back, tucking the chin. Inhale to drop the belly. And exhale to round. Spreading through the scapula. One more big inhale. Exhale. Making our way to neutral spine, tabletop pose. Inhale, reach the right leg behind, knee is bent. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, crunch. Inhale, tiger pose. Exhale, crunch. Sucking the navel into the spine, it's the last one. Exhale, crunch. Extending that leg and sending it out to the side, peeling that right arm up, finding another little chest opener, maybe reaching that arm back a little bit more, opening up through the pecs, the fronts of the shoulders, <sighs> bringing the arm back up to the ceiling, using the core to lift yourself up, extending both arms out to the side, and walking that right arm down the leg, reaching the left overhead, beautiful side body stretch. Exhale, sweep that hand around, finding our tabletop pose to repeat on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up, tiger pose. Exhale, bring it into the chest, knee to nose. Move in with the breath. Last one, exhale. Extending the left leg, reaching the left arm up, sending it high, nice long limbs, and opening just a little bit further. Taking the fingertips back up to the ceiling, lifting the chest, big expansive here, and then leaning over. Still keeping the chest nice and lifted. Beautiful, gently release tabletop pose. Tucking the toes, lifting the hips, walking the hands out, downward facing dog. Taking a moment here to pedal out through the feet. And then send the heels down, finding length in the spine, reaching the crown of the head towards the hands. Sitting the hips up. One breath. Inhale, lift the heels. Roll through the back, finding your weight to high plank. And then bending the knees, exhale, send it back, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the heels. Roll and exhale to send it back. One more time, ending this time in high plank. And we're gonna do slow mountain climbers, starting with the right leg. So right comes over to the left. Nice and slow, controlled. Firing up the core. Our shoulders are nice and strong. We're gripping through the mat. Building up our stamina, our strength. Warming up the body, energizing ourselves. Here we go, last side. Even it out. And back, downward facing dog. Raising the right leg up, three-legged dog. Bending the knee, tapping the left elbow. Three-legged dog. Tapping the right, three-legged dog. And we're gonna tap both. So tapping the left and then the right, left, right, send it up, three-legged dog. 
Coming into side plank, slowly turning on that left foot, keeping the right leg in the air. Peeling that right arm up, keeping the hips up into the sky, raising that right leg. We're strong, hold. And bending the top knee, grabbing the knee, if we can, pulling it into the chest and releasing it down to the mat, straightening both legs, coming into intense side stretch, releasing down over the hamstrings. Inhale, find length in the chest. Exhale, fold over. This time on the inhale, lift up the toes. Play around with how that feels, lifting them and dropping them. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, release the toes. Release the left knee down to the mat. Inhale, low lunge, arms come above the head. Interlace the fingers, pointer finger out. Taking a slight back bend here. And releasing the arms, still sending the hips down into the mat. Coming into eagle arms, scooping the right underneath the left, palms meet, inhale. Finding all of that space that we can between the scapula. Inhale, reach the arms up. Send the hips down. Exhale, release. Arms come above the head. We tuck the back toes and lift the heel, high crescent lunge. Exhale, release the left hand down to the mat. Right comes up for a nice twist. Our legs are still active. We're sending that heel back. And sweeping around, framing the foot, coming into high plank, doing some more slow mountain climbers. You'll like it later, I promise. Maybe not now. But later, you, you will thank me and you'll thank yourself for doing it, for pushing through, challenging yourself, doing good things for your body. Here we go. Just a few more. Going at your own pace, evening out both sides and then sending it back down and facing dog. Lifting the left leg, bending the knee, tapping the right elbow, three-legged dog. The left elbow, three-legged dog, and then all of them. The right, left, right, left, and back. You did it. Now we come into our side plank, nice and slow. Turning on that foot, finding our focus point. Full body experience here. Everything is tight, everything is active. Hold. Grip through the fingers. Bend the knee, bring it into the chest. And bringing it around, planting it on the side of the on the side of the hand, straightening out both legs. Inhale, find length, and exhale to fold. This time, lifting up the toes, warming up the calf. Exhale, coming into our low lunge, lifting the hands above the head. Big breath, send oxygen to that brain. And exhale, taking a slight back bend. It does not have to be big. <sighs> Gently release the hands, taking eagle arms. Other side. <laughs> Inhale, we lift. We're strong and active in our legs, pulling the thighs together. <sighs> Exhale, release, hands come above the head. We tuck the toes, come into our high lunge. And release the right hand to the mat. 
Left comes up for a twist. Exhale, sweep that hand around, turning to face the side of the mat, the long edge of the mat. We're here in wide-legged forward fold. Release the hands to the side. Use your core and sway from side to side. Protect your lower back, hug the navel into the spine. We take slight little swoops. If we need to bend the knees a little bit, that's okay. Maybe we get wild and take a whole circle. Go the other way. And lifting up halfway, taking the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers and folding forward. Trying to let the hands fall over the head. Feeling that beautiful upper shoulder back stretch, loosening everything up. Mm, deep breaths. Release the hands, taking the right, right in front of the face, pressing up and revolving. The left comes up towards the ceiling. Maybe it comes behind the back, trying to find the other thigh, deepening this sensation, this twisting stretch. And exhale to release and switch sides, replacing the hands. Exhale, release. Lifting up the chest, heel toeing the feet into the middle of the mat, toes point out, send the pelvis down, malasana. Taking one breath here before sinking down to the sit bones, extending both legs, grabbing onto big toes of peace fingers or the ankles, straightening the legs, pulling your chest as close as you can to the shins. We want a flat back. Find your spot of balance. Find your focus point. And breathe. Maybe we rock a little bit. If we fall out, that's okay. Breathe. And release. Crossing the feet at the ankles, coming onto all fours. Facing the front of the mat, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. We're gonna end with a little sun salutation, get us a little energized for the day. Gazing at the hands, bending the knees, walking or jumping up to the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhale to rise, hands come above the head. Exhale to heart center. Bending the knees, inhale, reach up, up, up. Exhale, dive flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back to plank. Taking a chaturanga, maybe we take a little push up here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open through the throat and exhale over the toes. Bending the knees and stepping up to the front of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Inhale, arms above the head, sinking into the hips, chair pose. Grounding through all four corners of the feet, lifting the toes. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Hold here, one more breath. And inhale to straighten the legs, lift up, palms meet, exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, arms above the head, big deep breath, and exhale, hands to heart center. I hope you enjoy this practice, this little stretch and strengthen, energizing morning flow. Let me know how you liked it down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to never miss more daily yoga classes. 
and I cannot wait to practice with you again next time, my friends. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.